Sometimes in life we realize that we tend to hold on to our beliefs even though we are shown that we need to change. Sometimes we can become so rigid in our mentality that we do not want to listen to others when they tell us something for their good. This was the same situation with the people of Israel at the time of Jesus. They were so adamant that they believed that what they were doing was right. And similarly, we see that even though Jesus performed many miracles, Jesus did many wonderful things for them, still we see that they were not open to the word of God. In our lives, do we react or act like the people of Israel? Are we open to see something from a different perspective? Are we open to change? And therefore, today's gospel passage will specifically focus on the need to turn back to God. Whereas today's first reading will teach us the whole aspect of placing our faith and trust in the Lord. As we read today's gospel passage, why does Jesus say, Woe to you, Chorazin, woe to you, Bethsaida? And why does he say that it would have been better for the other cities who would have listened to him and be converted? Well, let's find that out during today's episode of Tea Time with the Word. But before we can begin our reflection, let us take a look at the readings for Tuesday in the 15th week of Ordinary Time. Today's first reading is from the prophet Isaiah chapter 7 verses 1 to 9 and the gospel is from the gospel of Matthew chapter 11 verses 20 to 24. Now in today's first reading, we see that King Ahaz rejected the message of God from the prophet Isaiah. Ahaz, who was then king over Judah and Jerusalem, came under attack from a coalition force that was formed by Syria and Israel, that is the northern kingdom. And he was threatened and perplexed. Now God sent him a message through prophet Isaiah to be calm, not to fear, to place his trust and faith in the Lord. But we see that Ahaz, however, did not listen. Instead, we see that he takes counsel from his advisors and makes an alliance with Assyria. As a result, he became a vassal king to Assyria and did all sorts of things that displeased God. And the message that we get from today's first reading is that we need to place our faith and trust in the Lord. Sometimes in life it becomes difficult to trust God entirely. And these are moments that put us to the test. These are moments wherein we are expected to be strong. And therefore we can ask for the grace that during those trying times we may place our faith and trust in the Lord. Similarly, we see that in the Gospel, Jesus rebukes the cities of Chorazin, Bethsaida and Capernaum for their failure to embrace his teachings in spite of getting to see all his miracles, in spite of being witnesses to his teachings and to his deeds. And here Jesus tries to focus on the aspect that repentance is real only when there is a change of heart. You cannot force repentance. It has to come from within. And therefore, we see that sometimes the stimulus for this change can be either internal or external. Now, Jesus' mission of healing, preaching and of telling the people to repent was stimuli for change. But however, the responsibility to either accept or reject his mission was 
on the residents of these three cities and we are told that they were not open to listen to the word of God. They were not open to accept the word of God in their hearts. Dwelling more on today's gospel passage, we see that the way of describing the missionary activity of Jesus was a kind of a clear warning for the disciples who together with Jesus walked through Galilee. And this was evident that whatever they do, they could not be assured of getting a reward or getting any praise or honor. Jesus in the gospel passages of the last few days clearly enumerates what the disciples will have to go through. And therefore keeping this in mind, Jesus tells them that they need to be strong, they need to place their faith and trust in God. Because we see that whenever Jesus goes on his mission, there are several types of people that he encounters. There are people who were interested, there were others who were like those in the unbelieving cities. There were people like the doctors who thought they knew everything but understood nothing. Or there were people like the Pharisees who only knew how to criticize. And then we also have simple people who went seeking for Jesus. And then there were also others who understood his teaching, accepted and implemented it in their day-to-day -day life. Once again, we can ask ourselves, to which group do we belong? Are we like the ones who think we know everything and thus do not pay attention to the word of God? Or are we like the simple and humble people, willing to welcome Jesus into our hearts? And in today's gospel, we see that the word against the cities which did not receive Jesus is very prominent. Now, we see that during his three years of ministry, Jesus moved around from village to village. And we are told that there were quite a number of people who would follow him. They would go from one village to another and follow him. And it was quite evident because Jesus was a wonderful preacher. He simplified stuff. He took examples from the day-to-day -day lives of the people and used that to explain the kingdom of God. Secondly, we also see that some people may have gone in order to get healed or some just like to be in his presence. And at the same time, there were some of them who were not open, who were not willing to listen to the word of God. And therefore, in spite of Jesus going to these villages, we see that there remained a large number of people who were not converted, a large number of people who were not willing to accept his message. And we see that these were the cities that remained quite strong in their beliefs. They were rigid in their thought and in their pattern of going about their day-to-day -day life. Next, we see that Chorazin, Bethsaida and Capernaum are worse than Tyre and Sidon. Why does Jesus use this comparison? Well, we need to know something of the past. In the past, Tyre and Sidon were inflexible enemies of Israel and they ill-treated the people of God. Because of this, they were cursed by the prophets. And now Jesus says that even these cities who were cursed by the prophets if Jesus had to perform miracles in these cities, if he had to preach to them, they would have changed. And therefore he tells the people of Chorazin and Bethsaida that it was better that he had done it for them. At least they would have changed. In spite of getting everything, still you all are hard of heart. And next also we see a comparison made with the city of Sodom. Now Sodom was a symbol of the worst perversion and it was destroyed by the anger of God. And now Jesus says that Sodom would exist because after the miracles that he would have performed in it, the people would have repented. And this invites us to reflect 
on our day to day life who are we like are we like the people who readily welcome jesus in our hearts or are we like the people from the three cities that are not willing to accept jesus and his word in our hearts therefore as we reflect on today's readings let us ask for the grace that we may introspect and see the areas where we need to grow and above all let us pray that we may have complete trust and faith in the lord amen